Russia's first lunar mission in almost five decades has faced a significant setback as the Luna 25 spacecraft encountered difficulties during pre-landing orbit preparations, ultimately leading to a crash on the moon's surface. This incident underscores the gradual decline of Russia's once-dominant space program in the post-Soviet era. The state space agency of Russia, Roscosmos, reported that contact with the Luna 25 craft was lost at 11.57 GMT on a Saturday due to issues arising during its transition into pre-landing orbit. Initially planned for a gentle landing on the moon on the following Monday, the craft instead entered an unpredictable orbit and eventually collided with the lunar surface, bringing its mission to an abrupt end. A statement from Roscosmos indicated the formation of a special interdepartmental commission to investigate the causes behind the Luna 25 craft's loss. This mission had been viewed as a potential indicator of Russia's resurgence in the realm of moon exploration, fueling hopes that the country could re-enter the global competition for lunar supremacy. This incident highlights the decline of Russia's space prowess since the era of Cold War rivalry, during which Russia achieved significant milestones, such as launching the groundbreaking Sputnik 1 in 1957 and sending Yuri Gagarin into space in 1961. Additionally, this setback arrives at a time when Russia's economy, valued at $2 trillion, is grappling with considerable external pressures, including Western sanctions and engagement in a major land conflict in Europe. Moon missions, renowned for their complexity, have seen their fair share of challenges, with both U.S. and Soviet attempts encountering failures. Prior to Luna 25, Russia had not undertaken a moon mission since Luna 24 in 1976, an era governed by communist leader Leonid Brezhnev. While Russia's moon mission encountered obstacles, other nations such as India, China, and the United States have advanced lunar ambitions. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, confirmed its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft's upcoming landing on the moon's south pole, coinciding with the news of Luna 25's failure. Experts have expressed that Luna 25's crash might stem from factors such as vulnerabilities in the flight control system and a departure from the conventional practice of attempting simpler orbital missions before embarking on intricate moon landings. Despite its crash, Luna 25 had managed to move beyond Earth's orbit, distinguishing it from previous missions like the 2011 Phobos Grunt, which failed to reach one of Mars's moons. This setback might impact Russia's broader lunar agenda, which envisages several more missions in collaboration with nations like China. Critiques within Russia's scientific community have highlighted challenges such as poor management, corruption, and a decline in post-Soviet scientific education as factors contributing to the weakening of the nation's space program. The crash of Luna 25 has left many within Russia's space community disheartened, with prominent figures like physicist and astronomer Mikhail Marov expressing sadness over the mission's failure. At 90 years old, Marov hoped for a revival of Russia's lunar program and called for a thorough examination of the crash's underlying reasons.